This is probably going to be my last video on this setup, which is really weird. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here though, my name is Hannah and I upload beauty videos. I would love it if you stuck around and subscribed. Today I got my BoxyCharm. If you wanna see what I got, make sure you keep on watching. It's really hot sitting in front of this window and I know I've said that several times, but it's really hot. The first thing that I see here is this um, palette. So I'm going to, I brought my eye primer. I'm going to find out where I put my eye primer and then, oh wait, I found it. Okay. I'm going to prime my eyes first. As you can see, most of my face makeup is already done. I don't have any eyeshadow on, and then I have lip balm on, so if I got a lipstick or anything like that, I can apply that. So this is an orange palette. Obviously, I just opened up my palette. I, my box, I didn't know what I was getting. So this is an orange palette. This is not going to go with what I have on. It has one of these. This is from Touch and Soul. This is the Fill Up Orange. The inside looks like this, and the colors are on this sheet. So, and that's the only place that they're on, which is kind of unfortunate. I need to swatch this. Oh, wow. Okay, I am going to make a mess. One second, let me get something. Cause this is like almost loose glitter. I'll be right back. Okay, I also brought in some pigment primer cause I'm fairly certain I'm going to use that in my look, even though it's not gonna match what I'm wearing. Um, because yeah, this is literally like loose glitter. So I feel like I'll need a pigment primer, but it's kind of, yeah, it is duochrome. It has like a metallic green duochrome to it. Never used a Touch and Soul eyeshadow palette. I've used a Touch and Soul primer. I feel like I've used something else from Touch and Soul as well. Haven't used too much from that brand, though. Yeah, that glitter is gonna kind of get everywhere, but we will see. This color I think is really pretty as well. I would use that as a transition color. If I wasn't going in with this color, I just don't know if I would use this and this together personally. I think I'm gonna go in with this light brown as a transition color. And also normally I would apply my eyeshadow before my mascara, but I already had um, my makeup on from the day, so I already had my mascara. It does blend nicely. And it's like a little bit more than I would apply for a transition color. Normally I wouldn't apply it apply that much but not mad I'm gonna go in with this and kind of like my outer corner it almost blends in with the palette when I was further away also this is kind of an interesting so you know okay we're not gonna go in with that orange glitter because it is kind of intimidating I'll probably use that in another, in another look. Maybe I'll use that in another look with something that actually matches my outfit. So I'm actually going to go in with this color. And this is the Sigma E47. This is also pretty and blends really nicely as well. They kind of like this color as well. Let's see what this looks like. It's very similar to the first color. You see the difference a little bit? The This one is like a little bit darker and almost has like more orange in it. So I'm gonna go with this color as my all, all over lid shade. See what it applies, how it applies with the brush. Applies nicely with the brush. It's very subtle. And I normally don't go with this color as a lid color either. I know it's kind of a neutral almost, but it's still unique. Then I'm gonna use the other side of that brush and go in with this color to highlight my brow bone. And I know I need to tweeze my eyebrows 
on this eyebrow especially more. Let's just look past that. But this is what the eyes looks like. Next thing in the box is something from Tula. This is the Glow and Get It Cooling and Brightening Eye Balm. Since I already have my face makeup on, I'm not going to use this, but I will open it up and show you guys what it looks like. It's a really pretty color. Wait. Okay, I think you twist it up. Oh, okay, cool. And then that the product is right there. I'm just gonna put that there back for there for now. So I'm excited about getting this for sure. The next thing is something from Laura Geller. This is the multitasking eye and leak at eye and cheek palette. Cream to powder trio has this over top of it. Okay, I think I think that this is a cream product. Yeah, like a, I would use this as like a cream contour, which I don't have a cream con. Wait, no, I do. I just don't use cream contour too much. Um, and once again, I know I you know I already have my face makeup on, but. I will, I, I will try this out in a video. Um, it does have a nice highlighting, highlight color, which I know I already have highlight on, but I think I'll apply some. Oh, wait, ooh, it's a cream highlight. Never mind. I'm not going to apply that already over top because I have a powder highlight. It's very creamy. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that on my hand too much. And then I guess the blush is a cream as well. And. I'm also excited about this product as well. This is like a set of three lip liners from the brand Beauty Vault. So, ooh, I really like these shades. I really like these shades. I think I'm going to, so I'm going to apply, it says, cause it says eye, eye lip cheek palette, eye lip cheek. See, I don't know if I would use those on my eyes, but I am gonna go in with this color as my lip color. So I'm going to line my lips first. And I'm going to use this one right here in the shade Bow Babe. Just line my lips. It looks like it's the type that you sharpen. Very creamy. Very creamy and pigmented. Very, very impressed with this lip liner. I'm just going to use my finger to apply this all over color. Which I guess obviously, so this color is lighter than the lip liner that I used. But it does kind of like lighten up the overall lip color. Don't know if I would go with this color, with this color dress, but it is a pretty color. And then I will swatch, actually I'll swatch all three colors so you can see what they look like. So the first is Bow Babe, which is the one that I used on my lips. That's what it looks like. Next up you have Natty Nat, just kind of a deep red. Actually it's kind of a bright red, it's like a blue red. Next, you have Cozy Kira. Apply that one on the first. It's kind of a neutral brown color. So those are the three lip liners. I love that I got three as well. So the last thing that I got was this Dr. Brandt Hydrobiotic Recovery Sleep Mask. I have used um, things from Dr. Brandt before, so I was very excited to get this as well from Dr. Brandt. Dr. Brandt is a good brand. Um, or at least the things that I've tried, I've liked from Dr. Brandt. It has a nice scent. It, almost ha it has like a light green, almost, color to it. I'm excited to use that. I might use that tonight as well. I hope you enjoyed this last video in this setup. 
let me not be too dramatic because I don't know if this is going to be the last video on this setup, but if you did, please give it a thumbs up. That really helps me out. Once again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.